Hey guys, it's Eric Barfield. I am going to be showing you today how to map smart controls to main stage. So if you have a MIDI controller, you can use the smart controls. It's really cool. Um, today with me, I have an Axiom Air 32. I love this little sucker. It has eight knobs. It's a little hard to see, but there are eight knobs here that I can map to anything I want. I can do this with any keyboard that has MIDI capabilities, but I have this one because I'm on the road at the moment. So, first thing we're going to do, big surprise, launch main stage. We're going to pick a template. The template has to have a smart control, which several of them do. I'm going to pick the keyboard one here. We'll fire this up. And here we go. So, this is incredibly simple. The only thing you have to do to map this is click on it so there's a blue ring around the outside of it here hit assign and map and wiggle your controller and voila I can now control the controller on the screen yay okay that's really as easy as it needs to be now the only thing with smart controls is you have to create a mapping for every single skin that they have. So, for instance, if I add in a, let's just pick synthesizer, classics, let's just randomly bring something up here. We're going to use a format flutter. Um, this will now control the fourth controller in here. So sometimes this does work. But just to be safe, I prefer to click on it and individually map each one using a controller like this. That's the smart way to do it. I wouldn't rely on the mapping. And that's it. If you have a question or a comment, leave it in the show notes. I might be able to answer it. Thanks.